Well, from snow to severe thunderstorms producing tornadoes, we've got a lot to tell you about. Hello, everybody. I'm Janine Diadamo. And then I'm Jim Cantor. Stay tuned, folks, because if you love Vermont like I do, you're going to see some great pictures of the Green Mountain State uh, with some snow. <laughs> I suppose your mom and dad are getting snow at this point? Uh, no, they're in the valley. Oh, okay. uh, they're in the valley no a little bit, there. so no snow. They're just the cold, and I'm sure I'm going to hear about it. <laughs> anyway, we'll tell you about Florida first of all. The storms moving across Florida Wednesday spawned at least one tornado. This one was captured on home video in Pembroke Pines in suburban Miami. Damage was reported at a new car lot here in Broward County. And to the east, a tornado was also sighted in Hollywood, Florida. Ooh, this kind of looks ugly. The storm one business sprung a natural gas leak there. And today, thunderstorms around the Salt Lake area are also uh, producing some hail and wind damage. Now, folks, this is the Melbourne Doppler radar. I want to show you this because this thing is a clinic just waiting to happen here. Uh, you can know, Cape Canaveral being right here. Here's Brevard County right in through here. And notice how we're getting these thunderstorms in Brevard County. There's actually severe thunderstorm warnings out at the present time for these. But if you look at this fine line which is off through Brevard County and then heading north. This is the actual sea breeze here. And believe it or not, there's a front which has come on through here. And winds are generally out of the west-northwest. So with the sea breeze and the winds out of the east, the head of the sea breeze, and the winds out of the west-northwest here, look at this. The sea breeze is acting like a converging area, and you're getting these thunderstorms developing, and some of them are producing severe weather. So be careful, southern Brevard County. Look at this. It's uh, box mania here. A late May sun, and we've got explosive development. Now, this is Cape Canaveral. This is the Melbourne Doppler, but I had to show you this because it's such a, a great textbook classic here. Here's the sea breeze. Look at this thing. Defined extremely well here. And behind the sea breeze, winds are out of the northwest over the land. They're out of the east behind the sea breeze. You're getting the convergence. Air at the surface is converging together. It's rising, and we're getting storms. Now, severe thunderstorm warning out for St. John's County moving out of Brevard County. And this will just continue to perturbate onto the south, so keep an eye on things along the east coast of Florida. Here are the watches out west. Got the sideways shaped T. And if you live in a real interesting looking Doppler here, this little line that you see right in through here, this dark green line, is actually the sea breeze, believe it or not, with winds coming in like this off the water. And there's actually a predominant west-northwest wind in Florida right now, but the interaction of the sea breeze and that predominant wind is kicking off these thunderstorms, and you can see how they're developing, and they're developing southward. So keep an eye here from St. Johns County southward as these storms develop. They have had severe thunderstorm warnings with them uh, throughout the afternoon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.